Okay, turtle. So, um, jungling. Uh, I recommend that you pick up a defensive jungling character, something like a tank or something, uh, early on. Just because it's very easy to walk into a lane and die if you don't know your own strength and you don't know the enemy's strength. And since you don't know all the champions yet, I highly recommend you pick up something, someone like Nautilus or, or a Mumu or someone with some, just someone with some buff and build tanky, so that you can survive in the jungle and uh, just—it's a role you need to fill anyways. You need to have a tank anyways. Um, so. I'm going to play Nautilus, which is a pretty tanky jungle, or maybe I'll play Maokai, depending on what's available. Um, okay, at least I'm going to pick up Nautilus. Um, the reason, and, and it's just because if you go to, into a lane and you feed them a kill, you're screwing over your lane. Like, you are actively making them lose. If they start, this is a game about snowballing, you know, if you give a lane an advantage, then they're going to be able to do more with it and be able to start winning that lane and getting more kills and getting uh, even if they don't get a kill they'll be able to push off uh, they'll be able to push their opponents out of lane and then they lose out on golden experience and be able to, and they're able to get more golden experience so it's really important that you don't give them that advantage by getting killed <laughs> if there's one thing you should know about jungling don't give get killed <laughs> That's your goal. Um, your other goal is you don't really need to be beefy yourself. Um, you're in the jungle. You're safe. You, you probably aren't really going to fight except for the ones that you choose. So all you have to do really is, is uh, your main purpose, in my opinion, is to get the other lanes fed. Get them so that they can get kills and, again, same thing, it's that snowballing thing. Get them kills and uh, get them... Uh, CS deny the uh, make the other enemy have to go back on their losing golden experience, and then you are winning the game for your team. So when I go in for a gank, I always try and let my lane, the laner, get the kill. Because if they get the kill, they get the gold. They can then do better in their lane um, when when they both come back and fight the next time. So um, starting tips: be tanky. Don't die, and get your enemy, get your lane fed. Um, the first thing that you'll see in this game is uh, the jungle pathing that I'll take. Um, it, you're you're gonna need to to know you're gonna need to have map awareness of the red and the blue buff as well as dragon and baron timers. The red and the blues have a five minute uh, respawn timer, dragon has six minutes, and baron has seven. So um, it's not a bad idea to even just say, oh hey, I'm going um, at, uh, at, okay, uh, once you kill dragon, type in just chat, just say, hey, um, dragon's going to respawn at this time. Nice, I like Thrushes of Detroit much better. Um, right. And then, again, with your buffs, you know, just, just kind of know, okay, blue, I killed blue buff at two minutes, that means it's going to respawn at seven, I want to be in the general vicinity of blue buff, you know, don't give a gank at six minutes and thirty seconds, because you're, you're going to have your blue buff put into question, and if your blue buff gets denied, that's, that's pretty big, I mean, it'll slow down your jungle speed, clear time, you could have given it to your mid laner, who got, uh, um, and... The giving I, I really recommend giving your blue buff to mid laner because it'll uh, it'll allow them to stay in lane longer because they'll have that uh, that mana regen. It'll allow them to give out more poke and it'll allow them to win the lane better. And again, your whole purpose make your team win the uh, their lanes. You don't need to be buffing yourself. You just need you need uh, you need your partners to be buff. You need your teammates. If um, I'm probably going to go give, uh, well, let, let's see real quick. Um, there's this website, Law Nexus. You can type in your name and see who you're versing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to see what we're up against here. Um, our Rengar is a silver one. He doesn't play very much Rengar, and he has played a lot of games. The fact that he's still silver one after that many games probably means he's not that great. 
the mid is really good. I don't want them getting fed, so I'll, I might focus mid. But first, I'll probably go top and try and give our Jax here um, a kill. He's played a lot of Jax. He's a gold three. He'll probably be able to dominate that lane if I can get him just snowballing even just a little bit. You know, If I get him that first kill, he can probably win the lane on his own from there on out. So I think I'll, I'll first try and get Jax a kill, and then I'll focus on trying to get Ari killed. Um... If you don't know the enemy's abilities and stuff like that, um, you can always look them up. Ari at level 6 gets her ultimate, and her ultimate makes her like dash away three times. It's basically um, a super escape or a super engage. Um, and what that means is, if if this Swain's going to win it all, he's, he's going to have to win low level. So I'm going to have to try and get... Uh, I'm going to have to try and gank Ari before level 6, if I really want much of a chance. Um, let's look at the bottom lane matchup here. Uh, Thresh and Gray, or Thresh and Tristana is a pretty good matchup. This person doesn't play very much Tristana, but this person does play a lot of Thresh. Um, they're going up against the Leona, and Leona has this all-in capability, so she'll be strong low level. I might go. I might try and focus mid and. I, I basically have to focus all lanes, but the thing is, is I have to let one of them go. I have to let one of them win by themselves. Um, we'll see how top's doing. We'll see which lanes are aggressive, and that's where I'll give the ganks. Probably it's going to be mid or bottom first. I, I, how I see this playing out is I'm going to get my blue buff, and then I'm going to get my red buff. Um, and then I think bot lane will probably be pushed pretty hard. Um, knowing where to be is a lot about where they are on the map. If they're pushed to their towers, that's a good sign that you should go in and try and kill them. The other, the other thing is, notice that if your lanes are pushed to their towers, try and have an idea of where their jungle might be. If my mid lane is pushed to, her, to his tower at level 3, and um, there's a good chance that their jungle might come and gank him. Oops, I don't want that. Um... So, pretty standard start is Hunter's Machete and 5 Pots. I pick up the Warding Trinket because I like having Vision low level. I don't know, I'm not going to be able to use my, uh, to use that Sweeper Trinket low level. I don't know where the wards are. There might not be any wards, um, low level. So, it's it's really not worth getting until you can start, you know, kind of pushing, putting pressure on this Dragon area. That's when you really want the Sweeping to uh, Trinket, is when you can de-ward Dragon. So I try and get off the gate as soon as possible in the re um, so that I can get to this mid lane and make sure nobody's trying to invade my buff. Um, I come through the mid lane and I sit right here. And what this does is it allows me to see if anyone's trying to go through this path into my jungle, which is pretty typical, or this path into my jungle, which is pretty typical. They didn't, so I'm going to just switch over here since Swain is sitting there. Now we have some vision of both these areas. I'm actually going to go up here because I want some help. So now we can kind of see and make sure they're not coming into our jungle. And we should be good. Minions have spawned. So yeah, he's probably right. So, um, first thing is buff spawn at 155. Um, you want to make sure that you're right next to it so you can get started as soon as possible. Um, I asked for some help from my friends here, which is they're giving me, which is really nice of them. And I'm just gonna go ahead and smite this. Mm on the first camp I hit level 2 and um, I use smite right away because in season 3 jungle you no longer get level 3 off of just doing blue and red you have to do a camp in between and since you have to do a camp in between I might as well use smite on both my blue and my red and do my uh, my camps like like that so I use smite on blue and it's still on cooldown but I was able to clear that camp once I get over here to red I'll be able to get red without him uh, with my smite up so what I'm gonna do is first I'm going to pull it over into here and what this does is it makes it so that I can see if people are coming which is pretty important 
Um, the other thing is I got these potions. I need to get them started to take. How Smite works is it's a large burst, like that. Um, and you want to use it basically when you can secure the buffs. And, um, you know, I saw that the monster was under 410 health, and that's how much damage my Smite did, so I Smite. Um, they're kind of dancing around here. I'm going to first get a ward, and then try and get a gank here. Um, looks like I will be able to. He's just dicking around. I don't really know what's going on there. And I'm going to let Jax get the kill. By letting Jax get the kill, he's able to uh, start snowballing. Notice I did back off there, and um, he gets more gold. He's able to stay in lane longer. I still get plenty of gold from the assist, so um, all around successful gank. And um, I, don't, I generally don't like doing these kind of big buffs, uh, unless I have smite up, because uh, that bu that uh, these golems are kind of out of the way, but and they do a lot of damage, but with smite, they go down really quickly. So, I need to get down to bot lane. Um, I'll see if I can get a gank on Ari while I'm here, but this lane's being pushed up, I'm not going to be able to do much with it. Um, Ari's being kind of aggressive, though, so it leads me to believe that the jungler's around. So I'm going to just sit and wait. Because i got a strong feeling that this jungler's going to show his head. Plus the lane is starting to push in our favor. Hey, it doesn't really look like it. I'm just going to sneak into here. Oh, look at that. Get ready. And boom. Just try and uh, make sure I'm going to protect my guy. I'm able, we're able to kill him, and that's just good knowledge, uh, just paying attention to how people are playing. I knew the jungler could be there, so I situated myself to be able to, uh, to kill her. Or, uh, situated myself in order to, to counter that gank, and she went all in, used all of her abilities, and we were just able to turn around and beat her to death. So I am going to build tanky early on, and that's, um, because I am a tank, so, and it'll, it'll just make it less likely for me to die in the jungle, and that, that's really important. Um, I'm also going to pick up boots because uh, I need to be able to roam around the jungle pretty fast. Um, I know his bot's kind of pushed up here, but it's also about to be pushing back, especially this Leona Graves lane is pretty aggressive. So I'm going to try and sneak into this bush right here. And if I can sneak in before they push out, Okay, cool. So I'm able to sneak in here, and Leona is going to probably try and go in. Now I'm right here. Oh, he gets a beautiful hook, and he's just going to die. I'm going to take this tower here. Now notice, I'm taking the damage so that they can go in. They don't go in, so I'm just going to back off. I was staying right on the edge there. Um, you know, I am the tank. That's how you tower dive, basically. I'm going to try and walk around here, and, um, oh, no. and notice how I'm using this bush right here so that he can't get on top of me, um, and we're just able to get another kill right there. Right now we could go for Dragon, but their uh, AD carry is up. Oh, very nice hook. Uh, but he's going to have to run away. I'm just going to protect a little bit, play Interference. And uh, well, I might try and go in on this. They think I'm gone, I think. So let's see if they push out. And yeah, I wasn't able to get a good hook. So now I'm just going to run away. Um, the other thing is, I am doing what I said you shouldn't do. I'm ganking when my buff is respawning. I stayed there for too long. Um, let's see if we can get a kill. But my buff respawned at 7.15. I'm going to give this to Swain. Um, and he'll just be able to stay in lane longer and sustain and throw out more damage because he's got blue buff regening his mana, and I mean, it'd be nice on me, don't get me wrong, but 
it's better on him and he can win his lane harder. Um, so I know my red buff's about to respawn. I'll see if I can get a gank on Ari though real quick because I see that Elise is top. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to gank her. So there's actually three gank paths for mid. I can come in from here or from the center. Uh, I think she saw me. So I'm just going to walk through. Jax was able to make it out. That's good. So Jax is getting a little bit fo focused. Um, he is winning that lane pretty hard, but I might try and give him a gank for, you know, just a little bit of love. Um, first, I'm going to take my buff, though. At least could be around. Oh, yes, yeah, she is. Um, I'm just going to chase her out. We're all right. Everything's good. Again, I'm going to put in this this bush right here so that they don't have vision of it. Uh-oh. And he's actually able to bait her out and kill her himself. Um, really, I should have gone and tried to help him out, but... Uh, I kind of knew that Swain's really strong and that Elise isn't even level 6 yet. So... Oh, no. Rengar was able to sneak in there and get a kill. So, now top lane is not winning, but dangerous. Um... So I died, but Jax was able to pick up that kill, and he'll probably be able to get the other one. I knew that Jax was coming down. Uh, okay, he's not going to be able to get it. But that's okay. One for one is good. Um, also, Jax picks up with the blue buff, which is kind of what I wanted. So Bot just got killed, unfortunately. Which, and uh, if I look at the CS's difference, they're really not that high, so I'm going to probably try and focus down there. Um, I'm actually going to sell off this uh, trinket and get that one and pick up a couple of wards that I can provide vision around the map. Your other job as jungle is to make sure you have as much vision as possible. Um, I mean, that's really everybody's job. <laughs> Except for the 80 carries. Um, my blue buff is going to be respawning at 13 minutes. Um, so, I kind of don't want to give that much of a gank. But, I should have plenty of time. Or, I, I don't want to stick around for too long, is what I should say. They might have wards up here, but I'm just going to go on straight in, try and get up. Oh, he totally saw me coming. That's okay. I'm just going to back off. It looks like uh, this Jax is still able, still up on top in that matchup, even after the kill. Um, so I'm not going to focus top. Mid might be in a little bit of trouble, so I'm going to just... Uh, I might stick around. Actually, mid is... Sorry to tell. So, bot lane's pushed up pretty heavily. That means that's probably where their jungle is going to be. They also just de. They, there isn't very much wards around there. So, I'm going to again try and sneak in through. The, oh, it's right there. Unfortunately. Ugh, that was a that was a good catch. That was a good catch. Let's see if I can bring it back. So, their jungle is going to be coming. Probably. Ah, fuck. Okay. So Top's winning his lane by himself. I'm not gonna bother. Um, they're being super aggressive in a 2v1. That means their jungle's coming. That means their mid's coming. We're just gonna put a ward right here. Uh, I want some vision on Baron, or some dragon rather. Again, they're, uh, it's really scary how aggressive they're being. Yep, see, there's their jungle. But here am I. Let my AD carry pick up that kill. I'm gonna flash slow and stun. I'm going to just tank this. I was hoping he was going to dive in, but he decided not to. 
Ari is Mia, so... Oh, there he is up there. Really kind of need... So I... Okay. He's able to pick up that kill. I'm going to run interference here, just trying to let them pick up the tower. That's a very good... Uh-oh. So it looks like we did pick up that kill from top. I don't know if I'll be able to get this, but I can try! Oh, oh, and the Jesus hook from downtown. And we're now overstaying our welcome just a bit. So let's run away. So... I'm gonna just tank... Oh no! Went too deep, went too deep. But while this is happening... We are actually getting mid tower. I mean, we lost two kills, but... Over, if we get a tower out of it, it'll probably be worth it. Um, so, I might normally I'll get either the boots of uh, Ninja Tabby for more tankiness, but we're doing pretty well. I think I'm gonna pick these up. Maybe that's a bit too aggressive. And again, what I was saying about uh, staying too long. Now my blue buff's in question, my red buff's in question. I mean, it's uh, they could be after it. At least could have ran straight there, could have got it. And uh, he actually didn't capitalize on it, but he really should have gotten that buff. I'm just gonna let this one get this. And boom. I'm gonna see if I can uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where are you going? Alright, it's Mia, so this is a very scary fight. Really don't want to fuck with this. Oh, then look, Rengar's top. I really wish I had a lantern. There we go. So they're going to dive this tower for sure. He flashes away. Oh, he went too deep. He went too deep. that. Get the ready to carry. And now we're unfortunately just, again, too deep. Bad calls, bad plays, but Jax is able to just get free farm. In the end, once we start team fighting, it's going to be totally worth it. I'm going to pick up some magic resist in this. And I'm just building up this tank Nautilus. Just so that my ganks I'm not going to die from. And my, uh... Okay. That's as far as he's going to go. And they might not even get the tower out of it. Yep. He is scared. Rightfully so. They could have gotten that for free. But they didn't. So, oh, yeah, he got a good stun off. I'm not going to be able to do much with that. So, I know that uh, two of them just backed off. That means we can have a free dragon right here. Fucker. Just warded it, though. Really need Trist to come. Ugh. Again, I use Smite to secure that buff. Swain is able to get a kill. He might die himself in the process. Protect my friends! Oh, and he's able to get that. I'm going to use my ult there. 
not not the best of targets to be to be frank. But that's okay. Oh wow, he's he's still going in. And we're able to ace him. Um, in team fights, what you really want to do is you want to try and focus those high priority targets. You know, get get their AD carry and their AP carry. But also, you really want to uh, protect your AD carry and your uh, your AP carry. You're the tank, so make sure that they can't get anywhere near. Oh, we get a okay. So I'm just gonna try and protect this Jax here. And he's not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it either. I can maybe scare him off though. I'm Oom. I hope he knows that Tristana is running away scared. Uh, if Tristana was here, we can maybe re-engage this, but I really don't think we can. You know, we lost one. Got some good damage on the tower. Pick, stealing their red buff. Overall good stuff. Um, we, okay, we were able to steal their red. Swain's got his blue. Uh, I'm gonna see if okay, it looks like Swain isn't gonna come in. Um, before I back, I'm just going to kill off this Wraith, trying to get my levels up. Elise is now ahead of me. You kind of want to be the same level as your support. Or my support right now is a level above me, so I'm going to back, pick up this Aegis of the Legion. Actually, I'm just gonna build this. I don't need the full thing, and. Then I'm gonna build some mana because I do not have enough of that. So right now they're sieging. I should have bought some wards, but I didn't. So I need to get to to mid to engage this five v five. Oh wow, they're able to get a pick. They're gonna go all in on that. Um, again, I'm going to protect our Tristana if possible. She is going deep. But it doesn't matter, she is so fed. Um, just try and pick off. So he, he's he's fine, she's fine. I didn't do shit in that team fight. <laughs> Minions are here, I'm gonna back off. I don't think we'll win off of this, but we'll get an inhib. Um, let's just play it safe. We're, we don't have ultimates. We got we got an inhib. Or 4v5. Um, again, I'm going to protect our, my AD carry here and make sure that they aren't able to get on her. Okay, we're good. We're good. So if Swain's backing, I'm just going to uh, push out this over here. Now I lost time on Dragon, so... I'm just going to scroll up. My dragon died. Okay, slay the Dragon. 1732, that means it is up. Six minutes later is 2332. They could be coming for me. I don't know. But I am a tanky Nautilus and I'm okay with it. Yep, there they are. Sup, bro. Okay, you can do your thing. I'm gonna come over here. You good? Yeah, you good. So we did a lot of damage to me. I'm gonna play some, put some armor in my build. Okay. Uh, it looks like they caught our Tristana. She is able to get away, but I'm going to secure that she's able to get away. Uh, don't know if I'll be able to... Maybe I can distract him for just long enough. That was a bad play by me.
So right now we've got butt pushing, we've got top pushing, this is really, and we've got mid lane pushing. This is a really good time to go for Baron. So even if we don't get Baron, by just going to Baron, so I'm gonna deward this. They don't have a ward there. We have a free Baron. Notice that. So, because I knew that they were gonna have to go bottom to stop that. That means in order for them to even contest Baron, it was going to be a 4v5. And we're just going to pick this up for free. Again, I'm going to secure it with Smite. It's under 680, Smite, bam. Now we have Baron buff. Uh, I see Elise over there. Oh, and we got a move speed. Just going to try and pick her up. Uh, I wasn't able to. Okay, that was a poor ult. So let's take her out her instead. Oh, Jax is he is deep. I'm just gonna come in here. Try and save him. Maybe grab somebody. Boom. Oh no, he's on my 80 carry. Gotta protect her, gotta protect her. And it's okay, we're good. Let's see if we can get one more. Yeah, baby. That's a couple. Okay. Oh, no. So, we just gotta protect our ADK because we're the big tank. Then have it to respawn. We'll get that one and that one. Jax may die. Two inhibitors. Oh, they surrendered. That's how you play jungle. <laughs> Hoorah. And I think that's it for me. So yeah, um starting tips. Um just kinda You'll notice I really didn't stay in the jungle that long, and I was still able to kind of keep up on levels. I was level 13, I was still above our support, it was level 12, and in line with our AD carry. Um, early on, you you want to just get your red, just make sure you get your reds and your blues, and if your smite's on off cooldown, go ahead and pick up a camp with it. Other than that, I really don't stay in the jungle that long. I, I really try and get my other lanes fed, and because I was able to get top a kill early on, he just went became massive. You know, bottom was in might have lost there had I not been around and able to kind of take back some of those kills that we lost. Um I got Swain rolling with Ari by getting him a kill early on. Um and really they they by themselves were just able to snowball their own lanes. Um and I myself was very tanky and very beefy. Um so yeah um the other thing is, I don't have a single offensive item built yet. My next one was going to be my offensive item. Actually, I was building Frozen Gauntlets. And that's because I don't want to give kills to the enemy team, and I wanted to be that big-ass tank that they can just wail on and try and kill and just not be able to make it. And um, by doing by doing that, you know, any time they were basically attacking me, it was completely wasting their time. The other, uh, in team fights, that, that's what I am. I'm the guy that goes in, I'm tanky, I initiate the fight, try and get a, a good pick on one of their squishy targets by using my ult on my AD, the AD carry or the AP carry, and um, killing them, killing the, the high damage targets first. After I use my ult, I generally just back off and try and protect the AD carry. If the AD carry is the one doing the damage, then I want them to survive as long as possible. And that's basically what I was doing, is just... Um, Okay, the AD carry's in trouble. I'm coming back trying to save him. Um, 
it's the one thing that's going to take a lot of time and practice is no, kind of recognizing where you need to be. You saw I called out, oh hey, Elise is probably going to gank here, and that's just because our lane was pushed up, and yet and uh, the other lane was losing, and yet they were being super aggressive. It was like it, they were just they were giving it away, um, and that's something that'll take practice. But no, you know, okay, I just got my red buff. They probably just got their red buff. That means like if everybody's playing well that means they could be where I am on the other side of the map so okay that means they could walk be walking to mid right now and I was just able to recognize that and the body language helped but it, it was really knowing where the jungle was and where he would probably try and prioritize a gank at that time um, it's going back to the well a whole bunch you know constantly ganking top lane I really didn't do that um, and the reason was because top lane was fine by himself. Had top lane needed another gank, I could have gone back and got another one in and, uh, you know, gotten some up with that. But I, I really focused the lanes that needed to be focused. You know, top lane was winning on his own. Mid lane was winning on his own after I, you know, after I got those two a couple kills. Um, and then I was just able to stay bot and camp bot. Um, if if the opposite is happening, it's a lot harder. It, like if if my mid lane was losing, my top lane was losing. Um, I'm probably going to focus on the lane that has a chance, and that that's what Elise was doing. You'll notice that Elise was going bot and trying to get kills for her bot lane. Um, and by doing that, um, you can get one lane kind of fed and rolling. And yeah, you're kind of leaving the other two out for dry, but you got to hope that those two are just going to play safe. They've already lost. It's so hard to... If you're down, like, two kills already, it's so hard to just try and come back and get them two kills two kills back. Because even if you do that, they still might not win. Like, if, they, if someone's gotten two kills, that means they're going to be up and... Like, that means they're going to be higher level. They're going to have more gold, and they're going to have more experience. Not just from the kills, but from the fact that the other two were... That means the other guy was not in the lane, and the other... And they that means they missed CS, and they're able to get CS for free because that person's dead, and they don't have to contest it. What it also means is when they come back to lane, they might have to, like, run away. They might have to just sit back on the tower because the other person is now ahead of them and so much stronger. And so, if I were, like, if Top had died twice and I were to try and go Top, I'd have to, you know, I'd have to get some real big kills in, in order to kind of turn that around. I'd have to kill him maybe three times in order for them to be even, because he's going to be levels behind, he's going to be kills behind, he's going to be tons of golds behind. So, um, if one of my lanes is losing and it's like, I can't do anything, like, it's going to be really hard for me to do anything about it, I'm going to focus the other lanes. That, um, and, and just get them rolling. If the other two lane, um, once the other two lanes are winning, I, I'll, I'll come back. And that's kind of what I did with bot lane. Bot lane was kind of losing, but the other two lanes were winning, and they didn't need my help, so I was able to just stay focused on bot lane and turn that lane around into into a winning lane. Um, yeah, it's it's very hard to turn a losing lane into a winning lane. It's very easy to take a, a lane that's like even and get them pushing ahead and starting to win on their own. And the other thing is, is if a lane is already winning, you can come back there and get a kill, and get some more gold, and then maybe get them involved in other lanes. Um, the other thing you'll notice is all, kind of always pushing for more. Um, after we got a kill, you know, we went after Dragon to get the Dragon. After, um, after we killed them a couple times, we got a tower, you know. Just because you got a kill, don't think that it's over. Just see if there's any place on the map where you can capitalize on that kill. Don't run back to your jungle and farm up some more gold there. Try and uh, you know get a kill. See if you can uh, see if you can push a lane or do something with it. Because you now have a four v five advantage on the map. And that's really important. The other thing is um, recognizing when um, trying trying to think of what the enemy team is going to do. You saw when we got Baron there, I, I called out, okay, bottom lane is pushing, they're going to have to push, or actually all three lanes were pushing, mid, mid was pushing, top was pushing, bot was pushing, and um, bot was on the tower already, their second tower, so you just knew they were going to send somebody there to, to try and take the, to try and save the tower. And what that meant is they were going to have somebody bot, and that uh, that leaves Baron just wide open. So we went up. I, you know, I, I told them, hey, let's let's get Baron, or you know, even before 
they had somebody bought. They said, hey, let's gather around Baron, get ready to take it. Once they send somebody there, we'll, we'll get Baron. And if they didn't send somebody there, then the tower is just going to be pushed by the minions. And that's fantastic for us either way. All, what, what you do in that situation is, oh, we'll just let the towers keep hitting the minions and we're not going to fight Baron. We're going to, you know, we'll just wait till they send somebody there and we'll just gather around Baron and stand there and not engage it. And basically every second that they waste trying to, you know, wait for Baron is a, a more damage being done to their tower. Um, so try and recognize stuff like that. Recognize, okay, they're going to have to, like, we just got an inhibitor tower. That means that lane's going to be pushing. If we gather, if we try and fight around Baron, they 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 have a time limit set on them that, where they have to react. They either have to engage us and try and fight us, and when we were the stronger team, we had more kills, we had more gold, we had more levels. They really can't do that. They have to try and engage Baron, at which point we'll just come in and kill them because they're trying to fight Baron and they're taking additional damage on top of that. Um, or they can, you know, send somebody to back off and save the mid tower or the bot tower at which point we get a free baron and if they hit st if they st stick around and, and just don't act we get the bottom tower for free if they waste time we, the minions will push and we'll get the bottom tower so um recognizing stuff like that is important but that's a little bit more advanced to what i'm trying to talk about or to what i'm trying to teach you but uh the big thing is if you're a jungle see which lanes are kind of even. If they're borderline even, then um, try and push your lane ahead. If one lane is... Uh, if if you, like... If, if a, a lane is being pushed to your to your tower, that's a good sign that you can go in and gank them. Um, if a... If a lane... If your lane is pushed to their tower, that's a good sign that they're going to try and come in and gank them, and it's a good idea, if you are if you don't have anything better to do, to show up there and uh, turn the fight around. Because what'll happen is... Uh, like you saw it a couple times. Is... He... Uh, you know... The... The their moves were calculate were not calculated and they were very sloppy. If you go back and look at that first uh, that first Elise fight where I saw that Elise was probably going to come in on middle and uh, try and uh, kill him off um, because it was, he was he was given a gank right. Um, he didn't know I was there, so what he did was he used all of his spells first. He blindly tried to use his stun and um, by doing that, he didn't realize that it was about to be a 2v2 team fight. He was just trying to get the person who he thought was running away. And he didn't realize that they were going to turn around on him and be able to fight back. He just assumed, oh, maybe I'll hit him with my stun, and then we'll be able to kill him. But he, what he didn't expect was, oh, I'm going to have to have some defensive abilities for when this fight turns around, we got a 2v2. So if you can... It's called counter ganking. If you can recognize ganks about to happen and counter gank, you'll uh, you'll win most of the time simply because they're going to do things like, oh, I'll just blindly throw out my Q. Hopefully, I'll hit. Um, and they're not going to be like me who waited for my Q because I knew that they're going to be right up next to me, or they uh, or waited for my E, uh, my E and stuff like that. I had all of my abilities prepped and ready to go, and they blew all of theirs just trying to catch up. Um. So that's kind of the more advanced jungling, recognizing when to gank and when to counter gank, or when counter ganks are going to happen. But generally, if a lane's pushed up, gank them. If a if a, if a lane is about even, uh, gank them so that they can be winning. Kind of try and judge which lanes are winning, which lanes are losing, which lanes can be saved, which lanes can't be saved, and focus your energies there. Um, you really don't need to spend that much time in the jungle. All you you need to make sure that you secure your buffs, your red buff, buff and your blue buff. And um, I like to use my smite when it's on cooldown. Um, you know, I'll go in like if I notice smite's off cooldown, I'll go in and kill a camp and smite it, and it's like quick free experience and gold. Now let's get back to helping the other lanes out. Um, the last thing is I never took a minion, and I tried to never take a kill from my lane. A lot of jungles will come in, smack, uh, get a gank in, take the kill, and then kill some minions so that they're even stronger. And what that does is it means the lane doesn't have minions, the lane didn't get that kill, they're losing out on gold that they could have, and um, might actually be very hurtful. 
what can happen is uh, you go in and you try and get a kill, you don't get the kill, so you kill some minions, and now they've lost six minions and they're just down six minions because you took them from them. And that means that they're just a little bit weaker compared to their lane, and they're the ones that have to be kind of constantly fighting the 1v1 lane. So just remember that the laners are more important than you, basically. You you get beefy by helping the laners out. I didn't have very many kills, but I, have, I had a shitload of assists, and that's where I got all my gold. I didn't have anything for CS, but I had a shitload of assists. And we got towers down, we got dragons. We get we got a couple dragons in there, we got a baron in there, and that's where I got my gold. Um, so yeah, I think that's all I really have to say about that. If you have any questions, be sure to ask me.